everyone, it's me, Jen from I'm Just Like You, and today I have a video on all of the lipsticks that Jung Sung Yi wore in the Korean drama my love from another star. Now I have talked so much about how obsessed I am with that drama just because the fashion was so gorgeous and the style from the makeup to the hair and of course the storyline is so romantic and so good. I absolutely love it. Um, I went and researched through Korean magazines and all of the articles that are written about the fashion and style in this drama and I bought every single lipstick that they mentioned just because I absolutely love that pop of color, that really um, youthful look. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you because I'm going to show not only the lipsticks that she wore but some dupes so that you can also get some yourself that are more affordable. Alright, so let's just get right into it. Now the first line of lipstick that I'm going to talk about are the YSLs which are going to be a lot more expensive and not on everyone's budget list but of course the quality is really top-notch and the colors I find to be very different and uh, very hard to replicate. So the first lipstick color is going to be the one that has been sold out I think for a long long time. Since the drama came out it was sold out worldwide in Korea, Japan, Singapore, the United States, China, Hong Kong. It was just sold out everywhere. Now it was still sold out up until when I purchased it and now it's all restocked so that is a plus. Now this is the YSL Rouge Per Couture and this is in number 52 Rosy Coral. It is this gorgeous bright neon orangey coral color with a hint of rosiness to it. It's such a flattering color. I think it's gorgeous for those who are really into a statement lip but then of course those who are not really into wearing lipstick but you do like how Jung Sung Yi uses it, I would definitely recommend using this just tapping it onto the lip and blotting it with a tissue paper and you will create this beautiful finish that is kind of matte but it has that pigmentation on the lips that makes the face look brighten and just really youthful in my opinion. So this is one of my absolute favorites from all the colors that she wore. So definitely check this one out. Alright, the next color is number 51. Now number 51 is of obviously next to number 52 so the color has some resemblance but number 51 is more of a pastel type of corally color. Now this has more orange, more corally peachy tone to it but it has a white base to it so that it actually neutralizes your lips if you have pigmented lips and it gives you a more pastel look. Now for those who have wrinkly lips like me, this is going to be a little bit harder to wear. So I do definitely suggest wearing a gloss under it. That way when you apply it on top, it glides on a little bit better and it doesn't really accentuate your crevices. I absolutely think this is a really great color for the summertime. It's such a fun color to wear, especially since it has that pastel um, essence to it. It really does make looks look more trendy. Now I definitely do not recommend this with like a smoky eye or anything like that. I think all these colors look best with just a really simple eye like um, tight line and then a little bit of lash and a wash of color on the eyes. So definitely check this one out. Alright so the next color from the Pure Rouge Allure line is number 57. Now this is more of a pinky red color. Now she is really well known for these just because um, I see that she always has like you know more of a pouty look and I think this is one of the colors that is her signature. I'm wearing it right now. I think it's such a gorgeous pinkish red. Um, it looks boring in the tube to be honest, I find it to be kind of not wowing, but on the lips, I really do see the difference. It makes the whole entire complexion look brighter, and definitely this is a color I think would be great for those who are wanting a color to wear at a formal event or a night out. It's a really great um, statement lip. All right, so the last, all right, so the next product that is from YSL that she wore is this lip stain. This is from their um, Rouge Per Couture lip stain in Rebel Nude in number 103. Now, I absolutely love these before I even saw the video. I absolutely love these types of products just because you put it on the lips, it stays on all day, and it's moisturizing. It's like a gloss, but the color does not transfer. 
This color is very youthful. It's more of like a rosy pink with a hint of coraliness to it because it's a little bit warmer. I do find it very similar to the um, rosy pink color, but a hint more of a natural look. Because it is from the nude line, I do notice that the lips look a lot more um, see-through and it looks much more uh, wearable. So definitely I would recommend this to those who don't like to wear lipstick but do want to achieve that lip stain look. I definitely think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Alright, so all right, so the last two YSL products that she wore are these lip glosses. Now these lip glosses are very sheer. They're very similar to the Chanel Glossomers or the MAC um, Creamy, what is it? Lip Glass but um, I find these to not be sticky and the colors are gorgeous. The first color is number 203 and it's this really gorgeous corally color. Now this coral has a hint of pastel in it so again it's going to neutralize the pigmentation on your lips and it will look really nice. Now if you wear this by itself as you can see in the clip it's very not noticeable but Jung Sung Yi did wear it in the drama and I noticed that she did have like some type of concealer or um, foundation underneath to kind of neutralize her lips even more so that this color actually shows up a little bit better. Now I absolutely love this on top of all the other lipsticks that are corally like number 52. This pinkish color here is actually one of my favorites just because I didn't really realize how pretty it is and I think it's such a gorgeous color on top of like nudes because it makes your nudes give it gives your nudes a little bit of color so definitely check this one out if you're a big fan of nude color lips just because you can wear this with that or by itself all right so moving on to some more all right so moving on to some of the Korean label products from the drama the main brand that she wore was IOPE and their lipsticks look like this. The first color I want to mention is the most famous color of them all from this line and it was again sold out worldwide and this is number 44 in the color Forever Pink and this is from the uh, More Moisturizing line and look at this gorgeous pink. This is such an easy color to wear. I find it to be very moisturizing and sheer, so it kind of just gives your lips a little bit of color, but it is um, easy to layer to give you more pigmentation and build up the color. Absolutely love this color and absolutely love the formula. It's such a gorgeous, silky, moisturizing formula that it really glides onto the lips beautifully. So I definitely see myself wearing that more in the winter time as well when my lips are drier, but I still want to give my face a little bit of color. Alright, so the next three lipsticks, this is number 17, which is a very pretty red. This is the red color that she wore when her hair was down and she's wearing sunglasses and she's in her set. She's on set and you can just see how pigmented this color is. It's so gorgeous and definitely, I am going to tell you guys, the formula is amazing. It is so silky, so gorgeous. There's no smell to it and the pigmentation is definitely on point. Now if you guys remember, she wore another beautiful deep red color. For those who have watched this drama, do you remember that scene when she's on the boat and she's wearing this beautiful red lipstick and it's that same time when like Domin Jun came to save her because he thought she was going to fall off of the ship of her wearing those shoes. Well anyways, I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't watched it, but this beautiful red is the color that she wore. This is number 18 and oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful warm tone red and because of the formula, it glides on and really makes the lips pop. I absolutely love this and definitely recommend it for all skin tones. I think this is such a gorgeous color. And again, the formulation of these lipsticks are so good. I cannot even compare them to anything that we have in the States. And the last color from the IOPE line that she wore is this color right here. Let's see, number... 23. This is pink violet and it's a very very blue tone pink. Now I didn't really notice when I bought this I was like I don't really notice her wearing this at all in the show 
but I, when I put it on my lips, it doesn't look as blue tone as it does in the tube. And then when I put it on, I definitely can see the resemblance to many scenes that she wore it. Um, it's such a beautiful color. I find it to be very flattering, even though it's such a blue tone. Um, definitely a very violet, lavender, pink inspired look. All right, so the last color that she wore is this scene where she's wearing a really beautiful emerald green dress. Her hair is down and she's going on a date with Domin Jun, uh, Domin Jun and she wears this bright, bright orange lip color. This is it. This is from Laneige and this is such a gorgeous orange. Now, let me just say this is not a very wearable color and it's probably not going to look great on those who are really, really dark or might have more of a cool undertone just because this is such an orange and warm color. Definitely you can still wear it if you mix it with other colors like if you were a more cooler tone I would mix it with a more red color on top. So this is not the most wearable color but it is a very trendy and modern um, statement piece. So definitely, I absolutely love this color. I think it's so different. And she actually put it on herself in that scene and you can see the packaging. This was actually bought by one of my subbies, also known as one of my friends now, Bao. She bought this um, when she was in Korea. I was regretting the fact that I didn't watch the drama before I went to Korea. So I met she so I messaged her when she was in Korea and I was like, oh my gosh, if you can find this, could you get it for me? And she did. She's such a sweetheart. Thank you so much, Bao, for getting this. Alright, so basically those are all the lipsticks that she wore in the drama that I know of. And so now I want to show you some of my take and um, dupes that I find to be very similar in the same type of theme. Now these two Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms, I find to be so similar to the different colors that she wore in the show. So this color right here, this pink one is called Show Flamboyant 220, number 220, and this one I find it to be a very cool tone pink, but very bright and a pop of color. So I definitely think this is a beautiful color for you to wear if you want to recreate these looks. This is also a really nice color to wear underneath a pink lipstick just to give you that pop of color as well as that matte effect so it keeps the color lasting longer. Definitely a color I find to remind me a lot of the drama. And this color right here is number 210 in Unapologetic. Now this is so gorgeous. It's such a beautiful corally pink and I definitely recommend it. I think this is a gorgeous color for anyone of any skin color. And this is a very um, Korean inspired color. Because of the matte, it makes the lips look pouty. It looks like that gradient effect where you wear the darker or more pigmented color in the inside and then blending it out to the rest of the lips. Definitely check this one out. If you're not into matte finishes, I do find that these two colors from the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain to be very similar to colors that she wore in the drama. Um, this is in the color Posh Canes, and this color is in LA Exclusive. Now these are stains that um, will actually stay on the lips for a very long time and leave a stain on your lips, but it's very moisturizing as well. If you haven't seen the, my review on the complete collection, definitely check it out at right here. I have it on all the colors and I will guarantee that you will love the formulation for these. Alright, so for those who already have similar colors at home that are similar but not on the point of the trend that was worn in the drama My Love From Another Star, my trick for you is to actually use your lipsticks that you already have and then using a blush that is similar to that color and then using the blush with your finger and patting it on top to actually give you that beautiful matte and uh, soft look that she has in the drama. Just use your finger, 
and patting it on top of the lipstick. Now that's not only going to give you that same beautiful effect that Chung Sung Yi wore in the drama, but it also will help the lipstick stay on all day. So with the products that you already have at home, this is such an easy way for you to recreate these trendy looks that she wore without spending any more money. Alright you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, especially those who are obsessed with this drama as much as I am. But if you haven't seen this drama, definitely I recommend it. I think it's such a cute drama. I'll have all the links to all the products in the info box as usual and I will see you guys in my next video.